We flew 1,250 kilometers to go op shopping in Launceston. Well, we're actually partially here for my birthday and partially here for a bit of business, but we're in Launceston. Of course, we're gonna go op shopping. And if you guys are wondering where you are, we're gonna drop a whole other video over on the Brad and Jazz channel about this awesome Airbnb. But today we're gonna go out op shopping and I think there's about 15 in the Launceston area. So let's try and hit them all today. The real question is, should we do a challenge? What do you think about trying to recoup the cost of our flats over here, which was 1600 bucks? <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can recover $1,600 in one day of thrifting in a completely random area that we have no idea about. Let's go. Uh, first we've got to get out of this driveway. First stop, salvos. We found something? I don't have a little Scanlan and Theodore. I don't know how to pronounce that. 13. Shop one, salvos. We only got the one piece, so very slow start. And it looks like the op shop prices have migrated from the mainland to Tasmania because there was stuff in there. A pair of RM Williams jeans for 25 bucks. Uh, DVDs were like four dollars each, which was very tough to pick any out. There would have been a couple there if I had them for a dollar or two, but unfortunately not. It's not so bad. <laughs> Come on. All right, we got another one just up the road, so we'll head there and take you guys along. We do not have mission to op shop back home and this looks huge. Double doors. One trolley. <laughs> okay, the front is like part dollar store. I think the thrift store's at the back. <laughs> Books. Getting any tingles? Found anything yet, but I still have a little tingle. The prices are definitely a lot better in here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jazz, I, I think I found the tingle. <laughs> That'll do. You're there. Catman do NGX, but 20. It's probably not too bad. That was definitely a bit better, 20 bucks for those. And I think we should get about $200 for these point toes. They do have the Cuban heel as well and in pretty good condition. So come all the way to Tasmania to get a pair of Iron Williams. So we're just actually leaving that op shop and we got a message on Instagram saying, we just saw you in MS Mission. So we did a quick turnaround and we met the Thrifty Pearl in the op shop. So thank you so much for coming up and saying hello. Really cool to meet people when we're just out in Tasmania. What so, are the chances? Oh, it's, it's crazy. We're gonna head to a couple more along this route and we'll be given a few tips of a couple go to. So hopefully they come through and we find some more goodies to add to that tally. Stop three. <laughs> no, you didn't stop. It's like freeze. <laughs> stop three MS <laughs> community shop. A nice pair of Keens, eight bucks. So be happy with that. Probably about 50, 59, something like that. Excellent. Stop three. <laughs> Salvos, let's check this one out. If we can actually get in. What is that? <laughs> Nothing in uh, that Salvos, but uh, I did find Kentucky Fried Chicken next door, so that's a positive. Jazz is on the, on the greens. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next. Stop for mission up shop number two. Anything in here so far? I've seen a few things, but it's got to be worth us packing and taking back, so not grabbing any. You're fine. Look at this, look at this. Ten it's bucks. so pretty, it's ten dollars. Coming with me. This is definitely a brand to keep an eye out for, but at 60, I think we're gonna leave it. It's a little tiny one. We got one thing in there, that place was massive. Jazz, we found a nice age top. But today's becoming a bit of a social event because we've actually <laughs> run into two people who follow us on YouTube, which is awesome. Thanks so much guys for spending some time and having a chat to us. Got a couple more to go to on the north side of town and apparently there's some good stuff out there so we're keen to get out that way and have a look. Let's go. We're gonna try this salvos in the city. What do you think? 
Fingers crossed. No size, no deal. We've got to start hustling if we're going to fit these all in today. I'm striking out. I reckon we're up to about 300 bucks so far, lad, so better get in there. Hey, found Oh, no. So what's your uh, thoughts of the Launceston op shops? Started so good. Maybe we're getting worse. Maybe we need food. I mean, there's plenty in here. There is stuff that we could potentially grab, but we are being very careful with what we buy. Because even though this is a challenge, we don't want to be buying crap that's going to take ages to sell. We are being very, very picky with what we pick up. That would be silly. <laughs> I saw some nice Merrells over there, but they were 60 bucks. They're probably not really worth picking up. They were new. And um, a few pieces of clothing, but nothing really worth us packing up and shipping all the way back to Adelaide. So, been an interesting day out so far. I think we've got one more that we can go to before we're going to head back to... The B and B. So we need to find thirteen hundred dollars <laughs> worth of stuff in here. <laughs> Hopefully, there is some cool stuff in there. I mean, there has been good stuff around, but just stuff that we then don't want to be paying up for because we don't want to ship it home, or stuff that we're not really picking up anymore. So these mission op shops are actually quite big, and I'm sure if you spent a couple of hours in there, you'd probably find a few things. But we've only got a limited amount of time. So last one. Let's see if we can pull something out of the bag. Otherwise. We definitely haven't paid for our flights. That's all right, six dollars. Nice. Just snagged a vintage St Kilda rain vest, so not bad for six bucks. So we ended up at about five hundred dollars of projected gross value. We did not get to pay for our flights, but we did get to meet a couple of you guys in person, and that is priceless. Love yous.